This video is a quick demonstration of everything I did to set up Torque Pro to work with my vehicle. Torque Pro is an incredibly useful application that not only allows you to read and remove certain diagnostic trouble codes, but also allows you to view vehicle information that may not be available for the gauges installed in your vehicle, and much more. The hardware needed to do this is an Android device and an OBD2 adapter that communicates to the Android device via Bluetooth. These Bluetooth adapters are readily available from your favorite internet retailer and can be purchased for around $10 US. From minutes 1 to 3 in this video, I show how to find and place the parameter IDs necessary to work in the Chevrolet Volt, Spark, and Bolt electric vehicles. For other vehicles, Torque may already include the necessary parameter IDs to provide the maximum amount of vehicle information. And for other vehicles, additional parameter IDs that are outside the scope of this video may be necessary to fully take advantage of Torque Pro. Let's get started. I Google searched Bolt EV PIDs and was led to ChevyBolt.org, which led to a Google spreadsheet, which I scrolled down on and was able to click a download link to save the file to my device. It is necessary for this downloaded file to be contained in a folder called .torque. If you have already downloaded Torque Pro, continue with this step by opening up your file explorer and trying to create a folder called .torque. It may already exist. If you have not downloaded Torque Pro, this step should come immediately after having downloaded Torque Pro. In this step, I'm using the File Explorer application for a Bolt PID file, which is located in the Download folder. I'm selecting it and selecting Move to move it to the .torque folder and the extended PIDs subfolder and then pasting the Bolt PID file. If you had not downloaded Torque Pro, simply go to the Google Play Store and enter Torque or Torque Pro to find and download Torque Pro, which currently costs $5 US. It should be noted from my own personal experience that it is necessary to use Torque Pro instead of Torque Lite in order to use parameter ID sets that are not already included in Torque Pro. After having received and plugged in the OBD2 Bluetooth adapter to the vehicle, I was able to open the Bluetooth settings and find the OBD2 adapter, which was a mix of numbers and letters. Most OBD2 Bluetooth adapters have a default PIN code of 1234. After the OBD2 Bluetooth adapter is a paired device, you can open up Torque Pro. First, it was necessary to go into Torque Pro's settings to the OBD2 adapter settings and to choose the Bluetooth device. Next, additionally in the settings, it was necessary to manage extra PIDs and sensors and add a predefined set, selecting Chevrolet Bolt OBD2 PIDs. Using the back button to exit the settings menu, you can then go to real-time information. 
I've already deleted the gauges that come as standard on the screen and replaced them with a few gauges for demonstration purposes. To add a new gauge, simply select the settings icon from the lower left hand corner and click add display. Select the gauge style you'd like and the information you want displayed. Oftentimes, information that's currently available is highlighted in green. I hope you've enjoyed and or found this video useful. If you're not doing so already, for your next vehicle, please consider a plug-in hybrid or full electric vehicle.